respected principal sir, honorable chief guests, CBMU <coughs> office bearers, faculty fraternities and my dear friends. Today, I, Aniri Bhuktani <coughs> and I, Nikhar Doshi are delighted to welcome you all to the inaugural ceremony of the biggest event we all have been waiting for. IMAs 2022 organized by G.H. Patel College of Engineering and Technology. GSET has been one of the leading engineering institutions in Gujarat since its inception in 1996. Over the last 25 years, GSET has brought forth thousands of insightful beings through its value-based education and has also contributed greatly to industrial growth. The 25 years of GSET marked an era of advances, innovation and persistent quality education. IMAs is a long-standing institution tradition. A three-day extravaganza held for the last two decades, witnessing massive indulgence from all the faculty members and the students. But what makes IMA so amazing is the motive behind it. It expands our vision and makes us feel like we are a part of something significant and extraordinary. This year, with the theme of multiverse, we will be getting a glimpse of various perspectives, journeying through different dimensions and getting the perfect mix of technical and non-technical events. We hope you are all geared up to envision new realms and witness the candidates rise by showcasing their skills and talents. And today in this inaugural ceremony, we will be showing you a glimpse of all the events we have as a part of this IMAs 2022 adventure. Today marks the event beginning of our three-day fest. So let us start today by praying to the Almighty thanking them for this opportunity and seeking their blessings. I request Dr. Yogesh Johan sir and team to recite the prayer.
Thank you, everyone. Now, I, Shreya Gaur, would like to request Faculty Convener of IMAS 2022, Dr. Kavindra Jain, to introduce our esteemed dignitaries. Aristotle once said, We live in deeds, not ears, in thoughts, not breaths, in feelings, not in figures on dial. We should count time by our heart throbs. He most lives, who thinks most, feels the noblest, and acts the best. A very heartwarming good morning to one and all present here. I, Dr. Kavindra Jain, one of the faculty conveners of IMAS 22, would like to extend my heartfelt welcome to everyone in this inaugural ceremony of IMAS 22, envisioning new realms and would take this opportunity to introduce our dignitaries on the dais. First and foremost, we have with us in our today's function, Sri Manish Bhai Patel sir. Hailing from a philanthropic family of this region of Charotar, Sri Manish Bhai Patel sir have shown keen interest in maintaining social contribution by exhibiting his role in various social organizations also enrolling as a trustee and active member in various clubs, societies, and universities. Currently residing as Vice President of Charuttar Vidya Mandal, as well as President of today's function, I would request Dr. Himanshu Soni sir, Principal G. Sid, to kindly felicitate him with bouquet of flowers. Welcome to GSEC. Next, we have with us our today's chief guest, Mr. Biren Shukla sir. Mr. Shukla is founder, president and chief executive officer, Anant Softech Private Limited, as well as Anik Technologies USA and Tendence Foundation, working in the domains of health technology, retail, AI, voice philanthropy, etc. for more than 25 years. He has worked with clients across US, Canada, Europe, Africa, Middle East, and Asia. He founded Tendence Foundation to work in the domain of public health, non-communication diseases, higher focus on diabetes and cancer, prenatal care, transition care, and many more in his feather. I would like to grab this opportunity to felicitate our chief guest with bouquet of flowers. Next, we have with us Mr. Tapen, Tapan Patel, guest of honor of today's function. Mr. Patel recently started his IT services based company for next generation technology, Technoprism, as a co founder and delivery head. Before this, he worked at Automation Anywhere for 14 plus years and played multiple roles and finally left as director of cognitive services to pursue his own dreams. I would request faculty convener IMAS 22, Professor Chintan Patel, to kindly felicitate the guest with bouquet of flowers. <laughs> Sri Ramesh Talati, sir, already joint secretary, Charuttar Vidya Mandal, served as principal Anand Arts College for 28 years. He was lecturer and professor of economics in the same college. He has strived hard to establish a sound footing to enrich education traditions in the institutions. He is a strong supporter of effective, constructive, and encouraging leaderships to co-teachers and students for the holistic education through main fold extracurricular activities in addition to ideal teaching. Now, I would like to request faculty convener, IMAS 22, Professor Parthesh Mankori, to kindly felicitate the dignitary with bouquet of flowers. Thank you, sir. Welcome to GSET. Professor Dr. P. M. Udani, sir presently working as Director General, CVM University. He has 29 years of research and development experience at Space Application Center, ISRO Ahmedabad. 
He has contributed significantly in remote sensing, data products, satellite navigation, receiver, development and commercialization of IGIS and QPAC. He has worked as Deputy Project Director, National Database for Emergency Management ISRO, MHA Joint Project for Disaster Management and developed Client Server Distributed GIS, MIS Data Processing System. He has held various other top responsibilities as project manager, regional coordinator, and has published more than 40 research papers for national as well as international journals, and delivered more than 50 invited talks during the conferences and workshops. We welcome you, sir. I would now request Professor Neeraj Mandora, Departmental Coordinator of Civil Department, to felicitate sir with bouquet of flowers. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Welcome to GSET. Here, I take the opportunity to welcome our own beloved who expect the unbelievable. We invite the challenges and fathom the ultimate. That's how we bloom big. At this moment, without any ado, how can we forget our own principal, Dean, Faculty of Engineering and Technology, CVMU, Dr. Himanshu Soni, sir, whose untiring support dedication towards the upbringing of this institute has played a pivot role for today's event. I would now request Professor Kurnang Bhatt, Departmental Coordinator of Mechanical Engineering, to kindly felicitate Principal Sir with bouquet of flowers. The whole GSET family welcome all the CBM office bearers, principals of sister concerned institutions, invited guests, parents, head of various departments, faculty, staff members of GSET, and my dear, most favorable and lovable student participants. In today's world, marked by cutthroat competition, our festivities have fostered good will and sportsmanship among us all. It reminds us once again that in the final analysis, it is not how many goals you scored or how many trophies you won count, but the spirit with which you played the game, that matters. So winners or losers don't matter, but what matters is how you enrich this memorable festive. Thank you all. Thank you very much, sir. शुभम करोति कल्याणम आरोग्यम जनसंपद शत्रु बुद्धि विनाशायम दीप ज्योति नमोस्तुते। We would now like to invite the dignitaries present on the dais for the auspicious lamp lighting ceremony. Please. <coughs> I would like to call upon our respected <coughs> principal sir, Dr. Himanshu Soni, a proficient academic and the navigator of this flagship event, to spark a few words of inspiration and wisdom. A very good morning to one of our present here. Honorable <coughs> Manish Bhai Patel, President Chaudhar Vidya Mandal, Chief Guest of the Program, uh, Mr. Virin Shukla, Guest of Honor, Mr. Tapan Patel, 
ऑनरेडी जॉइंट सेक्रेटरी चारुतर विद्या मंडल श्री आरती तलाटी सर डायरेक्टर जनरल सी यूनिवर्सिटी डॉक्टर पी एम उदानी फैकल्टी कोऑर्डिनेटर्स ऑफ आई एम डॉक्टर कविंद्र जैन प्रोफेसर चितन पटेल एंड प्रोफेसर पार्थिस बंकोडी टीम ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स कोऑर्डिनेटर हेड्स ऑफ वेरियस डिपार्टमेंट्स इनवाइटेड गेस्ट एंड इयर पार्टिसिपेंट्स ऑफ आई एम एस आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू दिस मेगा टेक्निकल इवेंट विच इज ऑर्गेनाइज बाय द स्टूडेंट्स एंड फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स दिस एड ऑलवेज बीन इन फोर फ्रंट इन पायोनरिंग म्यूजिक प्रैक्टिस विद बी इम्प्लीमेंटेड एकेडमिकली और प्रैक्टिकली वी स्टार्टेड जर्नी ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजिंग टेक्निकल फेस्टिवल सिंस लास्ट नाइनटीन ईयर द ट्रेडिशन स्टार्टेड ईयर बैक इन टू थाउजेंड थ्री विथ फर्स्ट टेक्निकल इवेंट लिटल स्टेप टू थाउजेंड थ्री एंड आई एम हैप्पी टू सी दैट स्टूडेंट्स हैव मेनटेन दर यर ट्रेडिशन एंड ऑर्गेनाइजिंग आई मेज I am congratulating the whole team of IMAs, which comprises of students and staff. Also, I am congratulating the core faculty coordinator, Dr. Kavinder Jain, Professor Chintan Patel, and Professor Parthis Mangkodi for and all department faculty coordinators for guiding students uh, properly for smooth conduct of <coughs> IMAs 2022. After pandemic, first time we are organizing such mega events. So I am requesting all faculty and students to join. hands together for appreciating of our efforts put up by entire team of students <laughs> because, because this group of students have not seen imes earlier and they are in third year and playing a lead role for organizing imes 2022 so whatever uh, successful events we are organizing right now is because of the efforts put up by the student team now we know that every education institute is taking uh, care for mentoring their students in technical front but for becoming two professional engineers overall development is very necessary for becoming employable graduates students has to keep track of new development in technology new invention in technology come and go very fast everything is so fast and dynamic in technical world that what one is learn is the core part and to ensure that our students will get overall development in the technical field every year we are organizing such technical events and i am happy to share with you that our management is always giving priorities For organizing such events and extracurricular activities on campus by providing all technical supports and financial support, I miss 2022 is the event which is fully supported by our management. Technology occupies an elevated plane of imagination because behind every invention there is an imaginative mind. The tech phase provides fertile soil of imagination where seeds of invention are sown and benefits are reaped by the students' community. Event tech phase is not only the harvesting of knowledge and skills. but many more values and principles to learn like learning of team spirit hard work strategic planning unity and selfless services it is the event for which everyone looks forward every year it is only the event in which learning through fun and fun through learning happens in a fantastic way tech fest is an event with national visibility it effectively achieves goal of awareness generation and exchange of ideas we have got some of the best pre ims workshops and events for school children named diy do it yourself which was organized from 11th to 13th april there are more than 40 various events to be carried out in next two days let this event be a memorable and intellectually stimulating for all participants all the best to my young budding friends we have lots of hope from you once again i welcome you all to this mega technical event and i wish that team imes have success in their endeavor thank you thank you all Thank you very much, sir, for your wise and inspiring words. As sir said, after a two-year-long hiatus due to the pandemic, we are finally back with breathtaking moments and exciting venture of this yearly fascination. After months of hard work and putting in their best efforts, Chisetians have again proved that once we set our sight on a goal, nothing can stop us. Even though we had a two-year gap in organizing on-campus events. The IMAs 2022 team did not let this stop them. They learned, planned, and executed everything on a massive scale, working tirelessly, and bring us this multiverse and one of the most spectacular events of 2022. On that note, I would like to call upon the student conveners of IMAs 2022, Hari Priya Shivakala and Sagar Gohil, to brief us about the glorious fest starting today. Look up into the sky. It's obvious that we're not alone. Those who work, 
those who dare to dream and work hard to achieving their dreams are always aided by a force. The entire cosmos is conspiring to propel them forward. Looking at all these smiling faces makes me immense happy. It's with tremendous pleasure that I welcome you to our first offline mega fest after three long years. Respected dignitaries, invitees, participants, and fellow students, I, Hari Priya Chivakala, feel privileged to stand here and address the audience. Let us reflect on the magnificent trip that we have all been a part of on this special day. I mean, an episode that has always pro proven to be entertaining and educational for the GSET family. GSET has always been a host to various technical festivals. Despite that, I Maze remains the most august and glorious fest of all time, guiding a beautiful path to the technical world. Looking back on how far we've come, realizing how I Maze has reached new heights, confirming the strength of student-teacher relationships fills us with immense joy. We all know that due to the pandemic, we were not able to conduct the I Maze for the past three years, but it has not stopped us making the most out of it. So let us set foot into the door in the excitement and have a look at the previous IMS, which was called as IMS at a glance. along with a team of 150 student volunteers to make the IMA's vision a reality, offering you a significant milestone to put into the history of GSAT. What's more astonishing is that despite missing out on three IMA's owing to the pandemic, students have shown tremendous passion and determination to make this festival a success. Bring new IMA's, we may lay a unique way of dealing with the challenging that might show up and our way anytime during the course of the events, let's have a look at the behind the scenes in the preparation for IMS 2022.
Jason family feels honored and heartily welcomes all the guests, invitees and participants. I request the president of the function to permit us to unveil the souvenir. Sir. <laughs> Let's take a look at the IMH 2022 souvenir to know more about the fest as a whole. we've put together an impressive concoction of events, including 31 te technical events, 8 non-technical events, and 5 pre imas workshops. IMAs 2022 has it all, from building walls to designing robots, from colorful splendor of chemicals to the world of circuits and sensors. We had 3,000 plus registrations this year, which includes 1,558 registrations in technical events, 1161 event, uh, registrations in non-tech events and 337 registrations in pre imas workshops. This mega event also includes Tech Hireka, which is a state level event for third year and for final year students to showcase their projects. We have witnessed 190 registrations in the same. Along with that, we have a half day hackathon where the students are given the opportunity to showcase their technical expertise and the creativities. So, total 65 students have registered for the half day hackathon. Also, we have DIY, an event which guides the school students to implement the knowledge they have learned from books and hence the helping them in making small DIY projects. 2000 plus students from 14 schools have visited the event. The celebrations are enriched with cultural fiestas taking place in evenings adding a much needed touch of sparkle to the fest, making it an exquisite melt of artistic performances, namely Rang Manch and Tarang, which is the Garba and DJ night. <laughs> Hoping at a positive note, I may present to you a wonderful package and manage the event that will satisfy your passion for the knowledge and learning. So, let us all join hands and delve into the world of multiverse. Exploring untraversed paths and learning newfangled notions. Thank you. Thank you very much, Shreya and Sagar. I would now like to call upon the Honorable Chief Guest, Mr. Biren Shukla, sir, to address our enthusiastic audience. Good morning friends uh, in audience and uh, at Dias with me. It's really amazing to see so many people together at one place after maybe a couple of years or more. Maybe perhaps I think for uh, many of you, okay, this is uh, the first opportunity to be together and do some celebrations. I would like to thank uh, Jisat and uh, management for giving me an opportunity to be part of uh, this great event. I had been visiting this place uh, quite frequently over uh, so many years. So this place is uh, not new to me. I know most of the faculty members, uh, people here also. 
of course uh, students keep on changing and that's how it should be uh, my association with the institute started as uh, i was just uh, talking with uh, dr shoni in uh, 2013 when uh, my son started uh, studying at this place and i am really happy to remain associated even after uh, maybe 9 or 10 years or so i was thinking that uh, what could be the role of uh, tech fest like this now we are a country of uh, festivals you know so that's what everyone says we have so many festivals we have holi what we say the festival of colors right so that is some objective okay that festival we have uttrayan <clears throat> okay typically that is celebrated with friends and uh, kite flying festivals right we have diwali also okay we have navratri right so that is uh, which goes on for more than a week then we have tech fest right so that's what uh, it is today here so like so all other festivals the way we do in india this also has uh, perhaps some uh, thinking behind that okay it has some reason some objective like we have a festival of color festival of uh, <coughs> you know like defeating darkness by light so this is perhaps uh, the festival of uh, innovation okay for uh, all young people here you all keep on learning different things uh, in the classroom throughout the year and of course you appear for exams after that but of course that is not it okay what all you learn what all you think get okay, that needs to be applied here and that needs to give you some satisfaction so i believe this week or uh, next two or three days of uh, i miss 22 is uh, going to give all of you an opportunity okay by which you will be able to do what all you are thought of you of course have thoughts ideas and you have learned lot from uh, place like uh, gset you have great faculty also so you make a great team and using all of that okay you can give you can envision okay new ideas and new thought and give some direction to all of that so my best wishes to all of you i'm sure you will have uh, some good uh, great time uh so one suggestion like this is also an opportunity for all of you to do something maybe some model or a product or something you know which would be either useful to your institute or the society as a memento from the current batch of the students thank you very much have a nice time thank you sir now i would like to request our distinguished guest of honor mr tapan patel to share a few words of wisdom so please so firstly you know thanks uh, gh patel and ims committee for uh, for this wonderful opportunity connecting with the students um, this is great i mean uh, after around 20 years i am back uh, between the student this is amazing and uh, the energy is something amazing so normally what happens is uh, when when we are with with the college when we are in this environment a lot of big dreams lot of hopes a uh, lot of energy and when we when we move to the uh, corporate world that is where you know at times we feel that we are taken aback what i want to do is i want to just share my story because i am not so great at speeches i'm sorry for that uh so what i'll do is i'll share my story i will see that uh if you can get the best out best out of it so uh so i have done um, electrical engineering uh from ck pithawala i have done mba marketing from bk school of business management and i have spent my 14 years of my life my career in it industry as a technical person so you can connect the dots well no dots are connecting by the way so this is what happens in the life um, life throws you multiple opportunity you just identify them uh, see which one works the best for you and hang on to it see what happens is when 
so okay let me let me uh, tell you this thing so when i completed my mba after that uh, i got placed into one of the uh, very esteemed organization it was sumani ceramics so again it is, it is a ceramic industry and i was managing a distribution channel uh, but still i was not happy i was thinking you know this is not something i wanted to do after spending couple of months you know i completely gave up i thought let me do some government job and this thing so while the, still the job was on one of my friend called me and he said that there is a wonderful opportunity in this it company doing something different why don't you join this and i know it's an it industry you are not related to that but why don't you give it try um, at the max what is going to happen is uh, you are still getting uh, experience of talking to customer connecting to the world uh, understanding how things work at the same time if you still want to pursue your government jobs this thing you can do that so i said okay why not one of the best part which i liked is it was a night shift for engineers i don't know about many of you but i i love uh, love uh, working in the night studying in the night and this thing so that is what i did i joined that id company how i cracked that interview it's a different story we will discuss sometime <laughs> Okay, so basically, after after joining that company, initial one one and a half year, uh, I I kind of you know started liking it this thing, but I got two government jobs. And imagine I am coming from a family background where my father is a government uh, employee. He was very happy. He was saying that anyways you are not uh, you are not connecting any dot. You are you are getting government job. Why don't you do it? But I did not join that. i did not join that because in that one one and a half year i started loving the work that i was doing it i know that what i am working on is something different it it is not something that everybody is doing it so i saw that as an opportunity i said you know let me give a try i'll just continue doing what i am doing right now uh, of course my parents were not happy so <laughs> but today after this long time i worked on robotic process automation technology during all this time today it is one of the highest paying job i retired or i rather left the current uh, the, the company that at that time that i joined automation anywhere as a director of cognitive services which is leading uh, ai ml technologies solving complex problems um, next gen technologies all that and that was amazing i today everyone is happy in my family that i did not join the government job by the way so that was that was amazing part uh, but yeah it helped me a lot today um, after that i am here where i am uh, into uh, starting a new company which is again exploring this whole horizon of next gen technologies so that is what happens uh, i just want to give you hopes i just want to tell you that even if what you have decided is not going in the di right direction if you be dedicated to it you can make make it out basically we are engineers we are problem solvers only thing that you need to focus on is the current problem that you are working is it going to be something amazing down the time don't think short term think it long term that is all thank you thank you very much sir uh, it was really inspiring so thank you very much for sharing your story Next, I would like to call upon the president of our today's function, Mr. Manish Patel, to uh, for the presidential remarks. Good morning. Invited guest, students, G S E T faculty members. I am happy to. see the auditorium in full form after 3 years and uh, i was just discussing with few things with tapan bhai that instead of just getting the bookish knowledge the more we go to practical events the more we as you see in engineering the more we go in the field and make innovative ideas events like imes will always help i wish the whole imes team a uh, grand success and congratulations for organizing such a good event thank you all
Thank you, sir. Now I invite President of today's function, Mr. Manish Patel, to present our chief guest, Mr. Biren Shukla, with the memento on behalf of the institution as a mark of appreciation. <laughs> Now, I would like to request Professor Dr. P. A. Vidani to present our guest of honor, Mr. Tapan Patel, with a memento on the behalf of our institution to honor him. As we move towards the end of our inaugural ceremony, I would like to request the student convener of IMAS 2022, Akshit Prajapati, to deliver the vote of thanks. Good morning to one and all present here. Once a great man whispered, feeling thankfulness and not expressing it is like wrapping a present and not giving it. I consider it a great privilege to propose a vote of thanks to all the dignitaries for taking time from their busy schedules to grace GSET's mega fest IMS 22. On behalf of the entire GSET family, I would like to thank our chief guest, Mr. Virendra Shukla, and guest of honor, Mr. Tapan Patel, who enlightened us with their thought-provoking addresses and set a perfect platform for us. Sir, indeed, your words have inspired the students. I thank our respected chairman, engineer Bikubai B. Patel, who has been kind enough to permit us for organizing IMS 22. I would like to express my sincerest gratitude and thank the president of function, Sri Manish Bhai Patel, for his benevolent presence. We would also like to thank the office bearers of CVM and CVMU for their kind presence. My sincere regards to and hearty thanks to Dr. Himansu Soni sir for continuous guidance and motivation that radiated a source of energy within us. It has not been an easy transition from virtual to an actual event organizing for any of us, but your leadership and positive attitude have helped us pull through. As we express our gratitude, we must never forget that the highest appreciation is not to utter words, but to live by them. Our honorable faculty conveners, Dr. Kavindra Jain, Professor Chintan Patel, and Professor Parthes Mangodi sir, are an example under whose able guidance this memorable event was organized. In a day and age where time is precious commodity, it's important to find the right word to thank our event volunteers who are absolute backbone for the event's success. We owe IMS to your hard work and dedication. I want, also want to thank the people who work behind the scenes to execute these events, all our faculty members, lab technicians, and housekeeping stem, staff for their cooperation. Without them, this event might not have been a great success that it is today. Finally, the wonderful audience who have turned up in such an overwhelming numbers. I thank all the students for showing their interest in our annual fest. We thank you everyone for your patience and cooperation. Last but not least, I thank the Almighty for showering his blessings and strength to make the event a success. Once again, thank you very much to all who assembled here to encounter the falling from one universe to the next, where at the end, it all blends together like an animation of sweet memories. Thank you. Thank you very much, Akshit. Before we conclude our ceremony today and begin our voyage through the multiverse of events, I kindly request everyone to rise for the national anthem and invite Mr. Uh, Professor Snees, sir, okay, for the national anthem. Janagana mana dhinayak jaya hai Bharat bhagya vidhata Punjab Sindh Gujarat Maratha Dhavira Utkal Banga Vindya Himachal Yamuna Ganga Utshal Jaladi Taranga Tava Shubh Name Jage Tava Shubh Aashish Maage Gaye Tava Jagatha जनगण मंगल दायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विदाता जय हे जय हे जय हे 
Now, I invite Mr. Anut Shukla from Infotech on the stage for the launch of his new application, Bria. Over to you, sir. First of all, thank you for uh, the IMS committee to uh, invite me and uh, let me talk to you uh, as many people who are remaining at least. Uh, so, and uh, I would also like to thank uh, our head of department for IT, Nikhil Gondalia sir, and uh, the principal, Himanshu Soni, for uh, letting me again talk to everyone. Um, I stand here uh, as a proud alumni of uh, GSET, passing out in 2017. And uh, I would like to uh, take this time out and personally thank uh, all of the faculties and professors uh, of the IT and Computer Science Department who have uh, enabled me and equipped me with the required uh, skills that I needed to have a, have a career that I dreamt of. So uh, thank you for that. Um, I, in case you haven't jo connected the dots yet, I am the association that our chief guest talked about. Um, um, and I also stand here in front of you as uh, an IIT professional representing Anand Software Private Limited um, and here to talk about uh, an exciting new project that we have you know, just launched and uh, would love the support of all of you. <clears throat> I have had the opportunity to work with great technology, uh, like our guest of honor said, uh, the next gen of technology, at least in our time, was AI and voice and cloud technologies. So that is what we dreamt of. And uh, I got that opportunity to work on a similar technology or the same technology at Run Soft Tech. Uh, so I'm here to launch uh, uh, the application that we've built called Priya which is a wellness and fitness application, which is powered by Hygia. So Hygia is a platform that we've built ourselves, which is basically a voice platform, which is uh, powered by AI. And uh, it basically caters to all the departments or all the categories, starting from e-commerce to healthcare. So you can basically build anything or any app mobile application that you want on that platform. So we, thought, you know, let's take this opportunity and build an application ourselves and uh, uh, let's go all out uh, with that effort. So we built Bria. Uh, again, taking a leaf out of what our guest uh, said, that as engineers, it is our jobs to identify problems and find suitable, easy solutions and provide it to, to the users. So we, we identified a similar problem uh, and we started with a, a very small, simple idea that what does everyone want in their life? which is a long and healthy life. So we identified that healthy life, uh, diet is the most important thing. So we, we said, you know what, let's identify what are the problems for everyone to have a healthy diet. So during the same time, I, from my personal experience, I started uh, consulting a dietitian. Um, so I faced multiple problems with that, which I took it uh, as, you know, upon myself to solve. Um, so the experience was pretty awkward because uh, for the first time I met, my first consultation was fine. Uh, the dietitian charged me 10,000 rupees and that was it. I never saw the dietitian again. Um, all the consultations was just WhatsApp messaging. So basically I was just paying my dietitian 10,000 rupees to text me every day. So we thought this is a big issue, this, this cannot happen. I cannot pay money for someone to text me my meal. So we took that as a complaint. We did some market research. We saw a number of apps and what problems they had. So we identified two major problems in them as well. One of which was everything was text driven. 
you had to read, you had to write, do everything yourself. The apps asked you to give the, your information to them and then just vanish. It was a very reactive app. And even after doing that, you had to pay them money to get a diet plan, which again is a computer telling me what I need to eat and not even following up with me. So we took this, these three problems and tried to solve that in the application that we built. Um, so Bria is an application where once you sign in, once you sign up, the application will, uh, for with the power of AI, will automatically assign you a diet plan for the next three months. Um, so the first problem, paying 10,000 rupees, gone. We don't need to pay uh, any amount to get a diet plan for the next three months which can again carry forward if you want to uh, continue after three months. But the number one problem was solved. The money was gone. The money is no uh, hold back now. The second problem was doing all the text, reading all the text and writing and all those things. So we took that and we said no more text. We'll make a 100% voice application where the application itself will tell you what your lunch is, what your dinner is. So you open the application, you just ask the application, right? We, we also built a wake up word. So like you say Alexa and it starts, right? So we, we built a wake up word called Bria. So you say Bria, what's my lunch? And the application, the Bria, which is a, we call a virtual assistant, will dictate out the, the lunch. It will say, okay, you need to have two rotis and this sabji and this dal and this rice, right? So that is again solved. In case, uh, you know, someone is outside and not able to hear or not able to communicate, they will still be able to read it by text. So they can again tap on it, read what the text is, share it with uh, their mothers, their parents, their whoever cooks the meals, right? And they can get a, a, a full-fledged diet plan. So for another issue that we faced was that we need to be near our phones now. We don't know when Bria is communi uh, communicating with us. We don't know what time our lunch is. We need to go and look. So what we did was we built a first of its kind voice notifications where you basically the app sends you notifications which says it's time for a lunch now or this is your lunch for today right so you don't really need to look at your phone as well you the app phone and the application will just tell you that okay this is Bria trying to communicate with you so we uh, attempted to create a, a very proactive app where uh, the user does not need to you know go to the application open and look the application will come to you and talk to you so this is uh, a very high level overview of, of what the, the features and what technology that we have used in this. But as a fellow uh, uh, GCITN, I would hope and expect that all of you uh, shower all of your support and love to the application. We are going to put out posters in the, in the foyer and all over college uh, through which you can uh, download the application. Give us your feedback. Uh, like I said, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an alumni, so I would love or any feedback that you guys can give and uh, make this a, a better product for the users, for the end users. So let us know, download the app, it's completely free. Uh, you don't need to do anything, you don't need to pay anything, just register and you have a diet plan. Uh, there is a reward system as well, so if you refer your friends, uh, you get some health points, you complete a certain task, you get health points which can be redeemed later on. So go out check out it's a it's a tech based uh, application so it should i hope it should interest you uh, seeing that all of you are you know technical people so would love if you can give it a try and uh, uh, just email us uh, it'll come straight to me i can take a look at it get your answers question if you have any questions about the technology that we've used okay, we can talk about that and any feedback would be great so Please look out for the posters on the on the campus, and uh, we'll be looking forward to uh, you know any feedback that you can give. Thank you. Thank you, sir. We are really excited for this application. It sounds really useful, and we wish you great success. Prepare yourself for the coming technical and non-technical events. The wait is over. Also get ready to be blown away by our exciting cultural fest, two-day fest, Rangmanch, commencing today from 7 p.m. onwards. Also, on 16th April 2022, Tarang, our DJ and Garba night, is also commencing from 7 p.m. onwards. So, all the best everyone and we hope to see you there.
Once the dignitaries leave the leave the auditorium, all the registered participants are then kindly requested to report to their respective event locations. Thank you.